Welcome to the old world. I've uh, started up a new game already and uh, we are playing as King Nebuchadnezzar, the founder of Babylonia, as I were playing in the uh, former series that I had as well. Babylonians are my favorite faction so far, mainly because of their uh, additional science and growth. So, um, let me just check. It's not really that fond of respecting. These sliders are completely wrong. I need to turn off the music because otherwise I get uh, extensive copyright claims. So I apologize for that. This will be a musicless pay playthrough. But uh, hopefully that'll be fine. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this looks like a good site to uh, to start on. I don't see... I might move the city over there. Hmm. The age-old question of settle in place or not. It even applies to this game where you have this uh, limited area where you can settle your cities. Mm. What is that? That sort. I think we're going to move over there. Um, so anyways, they've done a fair amount of changes to the game since I last played. There has been many, many patches, but I am playing on the development build, uh, just so you're aware of that. I think we'll start with the... Uh, Chaldeans as our uh, capital. Uh, the Chaldean city gets two culture per year. Uh, mines and lumber mills will get 20% output. Uh, siege and ship units start with the Ingenuity promotion. Uh, they also spend one less year to build urban improvements with their workers and they gain an additional worker on the seat founding. So we'll have two workers in our, in our uh, first city. I've already explained orders in the previous playthrough, and uh, if you want to read it, you have the uh, chance. I'm just going to skip over it. We also start with a slinger, which is uh, handy. But we'll just leave them... Actually, there is a city site down here. Let's move the slinger in that direction. And we have a scout. Um, um, if you're wondering why I'm leaving this, it's so that people can pause if they want to read it. Uh, we have three orders left. Uh, so I think that we might want to uh, focus on the um, workers here. Building a camp is good, but so is a mine. I think that takes one order. Yes, it does. So let's move the, um, the scout over there. And since we're out of orders, uh, we'll just have to end our turn here. Research. Now I want to have a look at the tech tree, because one of the techs that I want to have as quickly as possible is the forestry tech. Um, without the forestry tech... Uh, Things are not ideal. So we need stone cutting. So we'll go with that one, even though the divination is the recommended one. And end year. Epics or exploration? The court has opened debate on the topic of cultural enrichment, and we are of two minds on the matter. We can invest in national epics, or we can rely on exploration to bring us new experiences. I don't think we'll take either of these. Uh, the 400 uh, civics that we have, I don't feel that either of these are um, a useful investment uh, of that. 
especially seeing as we just make eight and uh, I would rather have centralization which we should unlock fairly quickly um, it will give us bonuses to the capital rather than being able to have some movement bonuses along rivers and scouts being able to move on water and the upkeep for low training or unit killed I'm not a warmonger anyways so nah none of those move down there and uh, build a camp and this scout of course will uh, take this uh, what is this ruins I don't know yeah ancient ruins star charts our explorers discover a cache of yellowed star charts in the ruins the former inhabitants must have been a tribe of great navigators who should receive these charts so we can give them to our scouts, whereas we'll gain five orders and a scout, and that's not bad. Or we can get a great scientist in our court, which is also not bad. Um, but seeming as we are this early in the game, I think we'll take the orders and the scout, actually. And we'll move on in this direction. This is the Nineveh Oak Forest. Another ancient ruin and a city site. Excellent. Can I move you guys? Okay, well, we can go up here then. Elephants and some horses. And apparently some game. The Karoon River and here's another city site. Okay, so we... Oh, that's very nice. We actually have uh, three city sites very close to Babylon. Next unit would be the Slingers. Uh, we have an excess of orders, so we might as well use them to explore down here. Oh, we'll get some money for this, so that's nice. Yeah. 90. Okay, we want to take those ancient ruins, of course. Ritual performance. In the ruins, we observe a ritual performance centering on the old city's patron god. He tricks minor deities into letting him eat them, but at the end they cut open his belly and kill him. What should we take away from this? We can expand our cities, but beware of gluttony, which will give us a free technology. That's very tempting. Or we can hold such performances ourselves from for another technology. Or we can have Nebuchadnezzar become cunning. Well, a free technology is kind of a given. We will acquire drama. Let's continue to uh, have a look around here. There's a tutorial for harvesting resources. I don't think we need that. Next unit. This is a very nice little city site. Granary here would be a... Or maybe even there. Granary there with farms all around it. This would be a food bonanza. Excellent. There's even some gems up there. And then we have the uh, slingers down here. Let's just uh, check out the area. This will be a very, very good city for getting metal. And this city, I presume, will be great for wood. This is just a very, very nice start. And moving on. Yet another city site. Ah, but the Thracians are here. They gave us a warrior. That's nice. The Karoon River. Um, gee, that's a lot of game. Okay, let's um, go there. So we have all of the tiles here available and then we'll park these slingers uh, here. 
the warrior, we can move over to this city site so they can uh, keep an eye out for that area. And that would be it for this turn. Our capital has finished training a new settler. Um, I think we'll go up to that city site first because food. Or will we go down here? Jeez, this this place is going to be. We're going to go down here. Uh, the reason for that is stone and metal, and we'll take the city site up there as the next one. Then um, stone and metal is very important for building wonders, particularly stone. Salt that gives us culture and money. That is very tempting. Let's build a quarry here. No. What gives us salt? I guess mine. And you can go here and build another. Um, oh, we can build the hanging gardens. But we'll want to build, we'll want to build a camp first. Monte Nemrut. Mount Erceus. Hmm. Let's get the uh, fog of war away. Yeah, you can stand there. We don't have that many orders left, so... Troops production in Babylon. Uh, we'll just go with another settler, I think. Research. Okay, so we need polis next. We'll go with that and end the year. A marriage proposal has arrived from the Chaldean family for King Nebuchadnezzar the founder. What do you think of these options? We have Belazunu the ranger. She does not have very much courage, but she has a lot of wisdom. Well, we have Uminingal. That's also quite... Both of them are actually quite good in terms of... Uh, they have four in. We'll go with Belazunu. Plus five uh, global research is... Uh, definitely nice. Queen Consort Belisunu. He's a schemer, though. That's... That's not good. <laughs> okay. Next unit. Uh, that's the city borders of Babylon. I think we'll build a city there. Um, March. So, what do we want to build here? This would have been a very good Chaldean city, but we're going to lose five legitimacy if we build a city from the Chaldean family here, because uh, we would be skipping founding a family seat. Ah, well, uh, let's build the Amorite seat then. Akkad. This is the tutorial on marriage. Choose research. Um, yeah, I have these. Let's take the stone boost. Hey, another one of these. You are now known as the explorer. Homeless children. Our explorers discover a group of orphaned, homeless and hungry children hiding in the ruins. If we leave them, they will surely starve to death, but our cities are on the verge of overcrowding. 
There is room in our caravan for either salvaged stone or passengers. What would you have us do? Babylonia cannot become a home for charity, which will give us 50 stone, but our king will become cruel. We can shelter the children. That will make the king gracious. But all of the families will get minus 40 opinion with us for 20 years. Or we can recruit them to Babylon, where we will gain child labor in Babylon. Now, if the game would only tell me what child labourer involves. Can I move this? Because this isn't going to help me. Okay, well, let's take the... Uh, we can always use citizens in Babylon. And maybe this thing will tell me what that does. What is that under? If we go to Babylon, it's listed under projects. But I can't hover over it. And there's not really... Okay, so we get two from child labor to training. Why? They don't seem to mind having child labor because it doesn't affect them in any kind of negative. Specialist projects, child labor. Okay, so oh, that's what it does. It gives us plus two training per year. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm not going to complain about that. A cut. You need to produce a worker. Then we have the uh, legitimacy thing. I'll show them who's legitimate. <laughs> right. Uh, next unit. That looks like water. And gold up here. Yeah. The city side. These warriors, we can just. Uh, I'd like to get away that fog of war, actually. And here. Now we can choose the ambition, the first of them. Uh, obviously, I'll choose control four cities. We already have two out of four, so... Next unit! Just trying to get rid of the fog of war near our uh, main area. Ah! Yet another uh, ancient ruin, excellent. This is also a city site, with no barbarians either. There we go, and then we can fortify them there. And end the year. Um, okay. We need ramparts. No, we don't. Um, well... It's in the tech deck, but we don't have it yet. Free settler? Sure. That seems fine. Yeah, we can build another mine here. Um, getting more metal is always nice. Can remove the trees, but uh, I think we'll go here, cut trees, and then build a quarry. Having quarries near the mountains gives bonuses to stone production, so... You are now known as the Intrepid. Prophecy. 
something in the newly discovered ruins has spooked our scouts, and they request that you visit the site at once. The court accompanies you to the weathered temple, where a series of ancient etchings seemed to depict you, King Nebuchadnezzar the Intrepid. Court scholars attempt to downplay the similarities as coincidence, but the resemblance is uncanny. It's a sign that I have been chosen. That will make the king either righteous, divine, or superstitious. Uh, perhaps it is a distant ancestor. That will make him either loyal, inspiring, or proud. Or we can say that it is an, a coincidence, which will make him educated, humble, or intelligent. I think we'll go with that one. Uh, educated, humble, or intelligent sounds very nice. And he becomes humble. Plus one charisma. Uh, I don't need too much you. This looks like a rather large desert. The Arabian Desert. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to march any units right now. And here. Your family line has a new heir, Princess Alitun. It is a day of celebration. Carefully skirting around these barbarians. A gruff chieftain arrives from the Gauls. He demands that we surrender immediately or suffer a brutal extended conflict with his people. You are advised to submit without further delay, for if I bring my army into your land, I will destroy your farms, slay your people, and raise your city. I don't think we want war with them. Sure, we'll give you some food for 40 years. We are humbled by your power. Oh well. Okay, two years left for that settler, and we're, we're going to get a free settler from the tech in two years as well. That's great. Babylon has reached developing a new culture level. So we gained a worker for that. That's nice. Um, let's send that worker down to Aka Akkad. Akkad. Another ancient ruin, Burley Smith. A Burley Smith maintains an ancient forge in the ruins. She, ex she explains that she trades iron weapons to nomads in exchange for food. As long as you don't touch her stockpile of ore, she's willing to share her expertise with you. What do you say? We can learn her trade, in which we will gain the technology ironworking, or we can loot her metal stores. Uh, I think we'll go with uh, acquiring ironworking. I mean, a technology or a hundred metal and forty unrest, it's not really that much of a choice. At least not a difficult one, to say. Gold workers. This hidden jungle city boasts a hoard of gold jewellery. Pendants, lip plugs, nose ornaments, necklaces and earrings. All the workmanship at the site displays the same signature style and an unparalleled skill with gold. Skill with gold. Such a trove of gold is always welcome, but of course there are many ways to utilise it. We can gain 320 gold. I don't think we need that. We can gain 125 training. Or we can gain 50 science and 20 experience for the king. That's going to be the latter one. This is the Apennine Mountains. I suspect that means that there's an AI somewhere around here. Ah, forestry. Excellent. This settler we'll send up here, so this is going to cost us in terms of uh, orders, but uh, that's what they're for. We could march the settler. 
but I don't think so. It'll cost us quite a bit of orders. That'll be four orders to get him there. So, end here. Your wife has given birth to a son, a goon. And I did choose Agnatic Cognatic Succession, so that means that Agum is now the uh, heir, and Alitum has been put second in line. Barbarians. So, let's build a treasury in uh, Babylonia, shall we? Don't need more settlers currently. This settler we want to move over here, so here you go. Let's move this guy up here. And we can found the Isin seat. We don't want to skip and I Well the the Kassite seat is very nice actually. New range units start with sniping. Unlocks hunt. But I don't really feel that we need two training per year. But having a hundred percent output from these camps would be nice. Okay, we'll go with the Kassites. Nippur. That one is automatically connected to the capital because they're the hunting tribe. I do want the hanging gardens, I have to admit. Uh, but we have several things we can build. We can build the Ishtar Gate. Gives us plus six culture per year and plus one growth per culture level. Currently plus two. All cities also gain one culture level. That is very nice. Then we have the Apadana, plus four civics, plus six culture per year, and state religion cities also give us plus uh, 0.5 orders per year. Of the Hanging Gardens, plus four uh, culture, plus four science, and all cities plus 20% growth, and it also ignores adjacency requirements. Hmm. But it does require a river. Well, we'll, we'll build the uh, Hanging Gardens. You're on your way to Akkad, and we can build an Odeon. Might be Odeon. But looking at this up here, I think we'll go with uh, building a quarry. Pyramid, say. Eh? Six orders left. This is the uh, edge of the map. Harvested, that means there is an AI. Of course it has to be Rome. They are probably not going to like us. King Romulus, the founder. Oh well. They are pretty far away. Nipper, you have to make a worker, guys, and then end the year. Natal Astrologer. A court astrologer attends the birth of your new daughter, and she prepares a reading of celestial bodies as a gift for the newborn. According to the signs, your child, Duchess Palatum, will grow to become... brave, cunning, or prosperous. I think we'll make her cunning. All foreign leader opinions plus 40. That'll make her an excellent diplomat. Probably also make her a schemer, but uh, hey, what can you do? So for this site... Um... That looks like the best location by far. 
And since this is going to be heavily uh, lumber milled, uh, and probably also pretty decent amount of mines, there is no reason not to make this a Chaldean city. And you have completed an ambition. Control four cities. Or Sipa. Uh, let's make a worker here as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this in terms of where do I want to build? I mean, no, I want these to be uh, reserved for quarries. Hmm. Don't want to build a farm there. Let's go up there, cut the trees, and build an Odeon here. Or Odeon. Uh, this worker here. Building a farm down here seems kind of wasteful. Let's go down there and build a uh, quarry. Plus 14, wow. Well, it goes into a volcano. You can have a look in here at this huge desert. That is a very, very large desert. We have zero orders left, so... Akkad. Akkad. Let's build a treasury. And end the year. It is time to choose your next ambition. The Amorites desires us to discover six technologies, and there we got an error. Index out of range exception. Hopefully that doesn't create a problem. The Chaldeans wants us to control six walls, while the Kassite hunters wants us to control five ranged units. I think we'll go with the six technologies. Next unit. This really is a desolate area. Rome hasn't built more than one city. That can't be right. You have three points. Three points from cities. Huh. I guess that means they have three cities. End the year. Let's try to get this guy out of the desert because... There is no reason for us to uh, stay in there anyways. Okay, that wasn't much of a year. Simon the Foreigner. That's a very involuted title. Simon the Foreigner the Builder, an esteemed member of the Roman court, arrives with a special request. He wishes to remain in Babylon as a foreign ambassador, living among our people but supporting the cause of his fellow Romans abroad. The honorary position would include a spatial home and access to the court, but it would certainly bolster relations with Rome. We can either accept, that will not make our own citizens happy, or we can refuse, which will not make Rome happy. If there's one thing I don't want, it is to end up in a war with Rome, but he, yeah, he feels like a spy. So we're going to refuse this. This foreigner is much too eager to help us. Choose research. I believe we need to go with labor force. And we have our first worker done in Nippur. We're going to build exactly what I said here. Uh, farms with a granary in the middle. We can build another quarry. That'll give us a lot of stone. 
lumber mill. Yeah, no, I'm not sure about that. Piggies. Mm. If we dedicate this southern part of Babylon to um, production tiles, then we can build the urban tiles up here. Uh, I don't feel that we need lumber particularly at this moment though. And again, we're making an excessive amount of, of uh, iron and stone. One farm there seems rather pitiful, but let's build a farm there. Our scout has returned. Let's uh, move him over here. I have no idea where the other Roman cities might be, but, uh... Nipper, I think we want another worker, to be honest. We are limited a little bit by orders, but, uh, so we can't build too many of them. It's still... He's upset with us. Our families are quite pleased with us, except for the Kassites, that is. And here... A romantic evening. A chilly distance seems to separate you from your wife, Belasunu, and it only grows colder. She has asked for time in your busy schedule to be together to rekindle the passion. How shall we answer? There is no time for personal desires. Or Belasunu is important. Make it happen. That'll cost us five orders and 280 gold, but it'll make her fall in love with the king. Of course we'll be. Not entirely sure what happened to the button there. Next unit. Okay, so we have an Odeon. 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 I'm going to. I'll just call it an Odeon for now. Uh, let's build a quarry here. We have five orders left, so let's move this guy over there. This guy here. So the Romans haven't built anything on the city side. That's a very bizarre decision. Babylon, uh, go ahead and build. Salt is giving us discontent. No, it must be the opposite way around. So we probably have zero discontent, but we are losing one discontent each year, since it's green. Uh, let's build a forum then. Um, in Akkad, Akkad. Uh, We do have a citizen. Having a stone cutter there is not a bad idea. So let's put a stone cutter there and use that citizen. And then we can end the year. Careful not to move too close to the barbarians. Hmm. Okay, so Rome has military there now. Another one of these. That's very nice, actually. End year. I don't think we want to spend 11 years researching that just yet, but we do want to build shrines, so let's get divination. Slavery or freedom? 
the court will decide. So slavery gives us plus one unrest in all of our cities, but it also gives us plus five orders per year. That is actually quite good. Freedom plus two science per year. That's not even a question. So we have chosen the path of freedom. That looks like a very bizarre place to place a farm. Not even sure why the game is suggesting that. I think we want to build a quarry there though. Continue with building farms around here. This guy is done, so uh, let's uh, get farms here as well because we are losing food. Hello. Despoiled ruins. Scavenging through the ruins, we find significant amounts of stone, iron, and wood. However, local raiders could reach the ruins by nightfall. We can't fight them off, but we can carry some of the loot back home. Which of the three would you have us bring back? Stone, iron, or wood? I think we'll take wood because we don't have any income for wood currently. Tribal hunters. As our explorers stand by unnoticed, a tribe of hunters visits the ro ruins to check their traps. They go about their business distracted by their abundant spoils. Should our explorers intervene? We can kill them and take their supplies, or we can secretly observe their techniques, wherein we'll gain a trapper. I don't even know what a trapper is. Here's another city site that I'm sure the Romans will take. Or Sippa. Um, yeah, I think we want another worker here as well. And I also think that it is a good idea to end the episode here. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do, actually. We do have two city sites here that we can capture with military, because these barbarians, we're always at war with them anyways, and that means we don't have to worry about the Gauls, nor do we have to worry about the Thracians. Uh, there was another city site up here, but it looks like there are barbarians there, judging by the flames. It's probably a city site here somewhere as well, in this general area. But we will have to wait until the next episode to see what the future will bring us. So, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.